Hi, it's the Mind Body Detective here. I wanted to talk to you today about fortifying our essence. And although that can sound like quite a grand and almost ephemeral idea, it's a very fundamental aspect for us to think about if we want to nurture our essence or our personal energy and if we want to bring balance and health to our system and if we are interested in the idea of having a long and healthy life. So today I want to talk to you a little about traditional Chinese medicine and the aspects of the kidneys and the lungs in relationship to fortifying our essence. The kidneys are known to be the organs associated with something that is uh, referred to as the root of life and they are really connected with this idea or this energy of vitality and our potential to live a long and healthy life um, to this potential or this aim for longevity. So they're responsible for something, for storing something which we call Jing and we can think about this in the West as, um, as a form of essence, a dynamic aspect of a non-physical living force our chi, um, that essence of energy which motivates and moves all of life itself. And there are two types of jing. Um, in traditional Chinese medicine, there is two types of jing. One is pre-heavenly jing and one is post-heavenly. And pre-heavenly jing is the jing that we are born with. It's the jing that we inherit from our parents, that um, from the moment of conception, that is part of our, if you like, our pre-heavenly program, that aspect of ourself, of our essence, that we come here with purpose to live on this earth plane. And then we have the post-heavenly essence, which is um, acquired through ingestion, through taking in aspects that are external to our body, um, so um, air, water, foods, and we transform those through our sort of our bodily functions. So you know this is done through the the digestion and the assimilation of the foods that we eat through the breath through the breath through the air that we breathe and um and that can also be cultivated through um through taking part in activities such as qigong tai chi meditation uh, through these very sort of, if you like, um, traditional and ancient practices which enable us to cultivate and to contain uh, a build-up of qi energy um, as we practice those through the body itself. There are also foods which can be really supportive to kidney jing, um, and, you know, a lot of those will be um, the sorts of foods that contain um, the essence of life itself. So this is very often sort of um, broths and bone broths and chicken broths um, that, that hold very strong aspects of chi within them. This pre-heavenly ching is basically a well of finite essence. As I say, it's allocated to us really from conception um, and can very well be um, directed through that sort of genetic um, pool of information that we receive from our parents. 
um, it is a pool and really thought of as a pool of essence, um, which is finite, um, but it is gifted from this infinite pool of essence. So there is a connection to the infinite, even even though we that is being contained in a vessel and therefore becomes finite. And there are some people that do not believe that that um, pre-heavenly jing can be extended or added to, um, but there are others that also believe that this pre-heavenly jing can be increased, that the pool can be added to through good use of our daily essence and by following uh, practices that foster and cultivate that post-heavenly jing that I was just talking about. So kidney ying is the essence of qi. Qi is the energy that moves life. Jing is the essence that, that is uh, that primal motivating life force, whereas qi, if you like, is the movement aspect of that. Um, also, the kidneys, the basis for physical matter and is involved in the building of blood. And the building of blood and blood itself is more of the physical aspect of that life force. So we have to have the physical vessel, but we also have to have the energy which animates and moves that and so therefore chi and blood are integrally linked and the balance of the chi and blood are essential um, for good health and longevity um, and really fundamentally at the root of all illness or all dis-ease is an imbalance which will be being caused by an excess or a deficiency in either chi or blood, in either this non-physical or the physical aspect. The second part that's, that we're really going to look at today is the lungs, um, as well as the kidneys. The lungs govern the chi and respiration, um, and actually... Even outside of TCM, there are many aspects to the lungs and how they are involved in this process of life itself. Of those three forms of um, energy or chi that we talked about earlier, we talked about air, water and food as being really essential aspects of this sort of post-heavenly um, essence and, and that um, and that this can be added to our um, pre-heavenly essence. Um, and if we think about those three things, then actually it is um, air that we can go the least time without. Um, we can survive longer without water, and we can survive longer still without food, but air, in, there's a very short period of time that we can actually survive physically without receiving that so really that's the sort of um, western um, recognition that within air itself is this aspect of oxygen uh, which is required for oxygenation of all the cells in the body and that this has to happen um, continuously for the for the body to be in a living state and that when that oxygen is depleted or cut off it's a very short period of time before those cells uh, begin to die due to a lack of oxygen. So in the western um, ideology really oxygen holds this sort of primal position. However I really want us to open up to this thought or idea that actually air itself and the breath is is far greater than this um, single idea of oxygen and oxygenation that within the air itself there is this essential aspect of chi there is an aspect of energy itself of movement of energy which is a part of the air you could think of it almost 
as another aspect not dissimilar to oxygen. So we know that in the air that we have oxygen and we have um, carbon, uh, carbon dioxide um, and, and that there are various elements that we've recognised and uh, labelled within air itself. Um, but within that, that there is this non-physical aspect of chi, of, of energy. Um, and so if we can sort of consider that, then realising that when we're breathing, we're, we're also bringing into us this very fine, subtle energy that's holding so much information um, within it. It's it's an aspect of information and energy which moves from the outside of our being to the inside of our being. And so it's a really essential aspect of life and living which connects us to the world that we live in, to the environment around us, to a connection of subtle information and energy that exists everywhere not only within us but externally to us and so it's this connection that's really important to keep us in balance and also there are other people um, that have really been you know looking into um, the importance of the lungs and the breath um, and even in relationship to the breath and the heart. So uh, the Heart Math Organization is, is one of those um, organizations that's really doing a lot of work in this area. And we also know, not only through this sort of um, modern scientific endeavor, but also because for many eons, one of the practices of meditation is a, is a breathing practice. And that through doing this work with the breath, that we know that this keeps a whole body system and the autonomic nervous system in a state of balance. So, you know, I will cover the lungs in a future podcast. But for now, I'd really like you to simply recognise that... Um, Whilst it's the lungs that bring in this external post-heavenly chi through breathing and through breathing in that air to the body, it is the kidneys which need to grasp that. The kidney's job, one of the kidney's jobs is to grasp that chi and to bring that down into the kidneys in order for it to be combined with this pre-heavenly chi, which is already stored in the kidneys, and then to utilise this beautiful alchemical combination of chi that combines both this inner aspect and essence of who we are with the this connection to the essence of the world around us and that through this marriage and this uh, bringing together of these two aspects of chi energy that that is then transported and utilized throughout the body and is essential to initiate life in its true harmonious balance. So today's podcast includes a meditative sound healing for you to work with as often as you would like to and to practice this breathing and this breathing nourishing connection between uh, the breath and the kidneys. In order for us to receive life force and to merge the jing of both the pre and post heavenly essence to balance this aspect of chi and blood in our body, both the lungs and the kidneys are essential and work together.